I think this this little note from a student kind of gives a, a good good picture of what is really good about students being involved in campus ministry. Ken, thank you so much for everything this past few months. I cannot even begin to measure the impact of being a part of the Wesley Foundation. I learned so much from Ken during my time at the Wesley Foundation. He taught us what it means to be a United Methodist and by con letting us conduct Sunday services, he taught me how to be a leader in, in a church. He taught me to think more deeply about my faith, but most of all, through his example, he, I learned what it is to be a true servant leader. Thank you so much for encouraging me to go to Joint Conference Retreat. Thank you for your encouragement and getting me to participate as a delegate to General Conference, and it opened so many opportunities uh, for me to participate in the General Council of Finance and Administration and the, the Greater United Methodist Church. Not only did I have a fantastic time, but I was able to hear so much more and reflect upon myself as a Christian. Ken invested in our future beyond our college days. He was laying a foundation of faith we could always rely on. It's so nice to have a family here in Tuscaloosa, so far away from home. Well, thank you so much for how you made us all feel like Wesley was home, away from home. And we just love you so much. In Christ. I just appreciate how Ken was always willing to continue to keep contact with me, even long past Alabama. And then the student says who they are. Well, there was a certain um, element to campus ministry because there was always something new going on. Um, there was always students being involved and doing crazy things. And it just was a place that I felt like I could serve. So that's why I think I listened for and answered the call to campus ministry and stayed there for a long time. I loved the United Methodist Church. And I, I love the church for several reasons. One is that families are brought together in the life of the local church. But beyond that, the Methodist Church has a wonderful way of connecting people to each other and to enable them to find a place to uh, call family uh, beyond just the individual family. My name is Matthew King Smith, and I was at Wesley from 1986 till 2006. I think my favorite memory of Ken is all of his musical sermons, especially Wick. When a thing is Wick, it has a life about it, and it will grow. Well, as all good Methodists, we like to eat. And gathering around the table is a great place for students to get to know one another and to share uh, thoughts together. The major program that involved eating was called the Common Meal and it was a celebration of communion and a meal together. And it occurred every Thursday during the semester uh, and included communion done in a way that kind of puts it in line with how the scriptures talk about communion. That is that the bread is shared first and then at the end, uh, share the cup. Well, students always change, but they always have some of the basics that carry on. They always have, there are always students who are searching for uh, answers to important questions that the campus minister doesn't have answers for, but he, he listens most of the time. And so uh, that's been a change in terms of the students uh, being involved in, with other students and not feeling like they ha everyone has to believe exactly the same way, that people come together and they discuss their ideas. And uh, that's kind of hard sometimes, but 
I've seen students and really get involved in that sort of sort of thing. When I was in high school and asking my dad a lot of complicated questions about theology, instead of answering them, he told me some of my friends think that and some of my friends don't, and I stand with my friends. So thanks for that lesson, Dad. And very involved in um, learning the leadership skills that enable them to uh, do a lot of things within the church. I was always pleased that a number of our students always attended the student forums that were held uh, at different, different uh, campus ministries across the country. And uh, this was a chance for them to meet other students and see what was going on on other campuses and in, in, encourage them to give leadership to the student forum. And so uh, that was a very important part of uh, what we did then and what is still being done in terms of giving leadership training and skills to uh, the students involved. A civil rights tour of the state for students from several other Wesley Foundations across the country. And we uh, set up a program that uh, enabled students to visit all of the major civil rights sites in the United States and in, in uh, Birmingham and Selma and Montgomery. And so the students got a first-hand feel and knowledge. We had speakers lined up that would pr give them a good sense of uh, what was going on. I would like the conference to know that students and young adults can really make a difference in the life of the church. And the church needs students and needs uh, young adults now perhaps more than any time in the future, in the, in the past, come up with some creative ways to make sure that uh, the leaders in the church don't neglect the uh, students in their midst. The church has a, always has an opportunity to support students, and I know it's difficult uh, for local churches, especially in our day, that uh, it's difficult to get the funds needed to do campus ministry, but that is such an important thing to be doing with our young people, our young adults, our students, uh, and so every opportunity we, we have to support campus ministry, I hope we'll take part in and hope we will make sure that things are being done to reach out to a new generation of church leaders. Congratulations on winning the Asbury Award. You always had a way of finding the best in people Moreover, you had a way of teaching people to find the best in people. So thank you and God bless.